Hi and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. In today's video we are going to learn how to create custom agent keys by defining user parameters in the Zabbix agent configuration file and then referencing them in an item. To start off let's decide on the command the result of which our custom item is going to collect. I wish to create a custom item that will collect my MySQL status. For this I will use my SQL admin ping command. I will also discard the error message and do a grep count of the word alive. This way I will either receive a 0 or a 1 as my result. Once we have tested the command, let's find the agent configuration file and add our user parameter. I will define my new key as my SQL ping. The brackets with a star symbol define this user parameter as a flexible one, meaning that the item will accept parameters. We can reference the parameters provided in the item with the dollar sign symbol. Dollar sign one will be our first parameter, the username, while dollar sign two will be our second parameter, the password. Let's save the agent configuration file and execute the user parameter reload runtime command to reload the user parameter list on this Zabbix agent. Now it's time to switch to the front end and create an item referencing our user parameter. Navigate to configuration hosts, Find your host and click on the items button next to it. Now press the create item button to create our item. Here I will provide the item name, my SQL status and select the item type. I can reference a Zabbix agent user parameter with either Zabbix agent or Zabbix agent active item types. The key field will be used to reference the key that we specified in the user parameter, MySQL ping, with two parameters, first for the username and the second for the password. Since the result will either be a zero or a one, I will set the type of information to numeric. Now let's click the test button to confirm that the metric can be collected by this item. Take a look at the error message that we have just received. Since we use a special symbol in our password, we need to permit the usage of such symbols by opening the agent configuration file and setting the value of unsafe user parameter to 1. Once that is done, restart the agent and perform the item test one more time. Success, we can finally add the item and let the agent collect our custom metric. The list of metrics that we can obtain with user parameters is limitless. Continue practicing by defining user parameters on Windows and Unix-like environments and you will quickly learn to tailor your Zabbix agent custom metric collection to the needs of your organization. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for your interest and I will see you next time.